Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Welcome to Jerry's Market Update. The Dow finished up today at 50, uh, up 52 points to 26,815. S&P up just shy of 10 points to 3246. And the NASDAQ up 39 to 10,672. The Welcome to September. Um, Although we are mostly, most of the way through the month, September is historically the most volatile uh, month of the year. And uh, while, with the exception of March, I would say this year, uh, probably not much of an exception. And the market hates uncertainty. We are just in a world of uncertainty right now, whether it is the COVID virus, um, what's going on in Europe, they seem to be going through a second wave, especially in France, and whether or not a relief package will be passed and when it will be passed will um, you know will the Democrats and the Republicans be able to get together on this one uh, with uh, Secretary Mnuchin the Supreme Court who will the nominee be um, and how long will it take to get through the Senate? Will this be a battle royale? I expect that it probably will be. And the election. What will the results of the election be? And will that be a battle royale? Kind of dovetails into why we need that. <laughs> why we need that ninth Supreme Court justice before the election. So a lot of uncertainty. The jobs number is met was meh, but the housing number was great. So. The numbers are coming in sort of mixed, although much better than expected overall. There's a reshuffling going on, especially regarding the FANG stocks, the, uh, the sexy tech. Um, so we're seeing a lot of volatility in that sector, and we know as goes tech, so goes uh, the rest of the market typically. There is, in other words, there's a lot of volatility ahead between now and the election. So uh, what do you do when you're faced with a bear attack? And not that this is going to be another uh, bear market, I don't believe, but um, what do you do when you're faced with a bear attack? You stand perfectly still, and this way... No sudden movements, you won't startle the bear, and this market is no exception. Um, as a matter of fact, please visit my website at jlaloof.com. Click on LPL Research and then invest, Investing with Confidence uh, to download LPL's Investing with Confidence brochure. It'll give you some tips and strategies for weathering a volatile marketplace. Um, I just want to take a quick look at one chart over here. Um, this is how the markets behave under different Congresses. And I would say if we're reading tea leaves, which we probably shouldn't be, but I have a feeling we may be stuck with a split Congress going forward. And you can see that under a Republican, in Congress and realize the Congress is more important than the president because who controls the spending? Congress. Under a Republican Congress, 13.4% annual return average. A Democrat, 10.7% annual return average. And look at that split Congress, which is what we have now. And most likely, most likely, uh, will continue with 17.2%. Well, why do you think that is? Because spending. And when you have a split Congress, it's harder to spend money because this one won't approve that side and that one won't approve that side. It's annoying, but it is good for stocks. So uh, let's, l let's keep that in mind going forward. So um, on that note, there's a, there's a lot to consider going forward. Remember, how to weather a bear attack and keep on, keep calm and keep on thank you for all for joining me this afternoon i hope to uh, be joining you here again in the coming weeks with some more market updates have a great rest of your day and a great weekend